we come to step one of suspended solid okay so the filter you need filter i take empty everything from the packaging okay i put it in this aluminum foil i put it in the same oven 103 to 105 to make sure the moisture okay got removed and then i have to raise or let it cool down in this cabinet this cabinet is called desiccator this desiccator it is a sealed cabinet okay completely sealed and then at the bottom here they have the silica gel okay to absorb the moisture if they have the moisture or water inside this cabinet it go to this desiccator oh sorry it go to this silica gel you know the silica gel when you eat seaweed or something something that keep the product the food crunchy okay they put this thing okay the water gonna go to silica gel not go back to the filter or your sample okay now what you're gonna do you have to use tweezer you're not gonna use your hand okay touch it you need just one okay you have nine sample right you have three sample so triplicate okay so we're gonna take one each oh you cannot see it okay okay so you are going to take one filter Made from fiberglass, okay. If it's glass, you cannot peel it, and when you light up the fire, it did not fire, okay, because it's a glass. Make sure it's only one, not two, okay. Put it in each of them first, okay. Just put it in each of them, and as I told you, that. If you remember the first step of the total solid, you have to label everything, right? You cannot label anything on the filter, but you can mark whatever. You can mark whatever, okay, on this aluminum tray. What I did is, I use different size. So the 51, I use a big one. Big tray, the medium tray, and small tray. But the size of the filter is the same one. If the R1, I leave it as it is. Is a second replicate. I I make it like this. Okay, make one end gone, and then for the last one, for the third one, I do it like this. Okay, and make the U shape gone until become square. You have to make your mark. Okay, some people, right? Some students write something down here, but I gonna do it like this. This one, my replicate one, it look like this. Look at the ear. Okay. The replicate two for look like this. The replicate three, it look like this. Okay. Now, get the filter to all of them first. each okay check if it's two it's gonna clock so badly okay i think you can see them all right now we have nine of them okay this one is gonna be my r runoff sample this one is gonna be my activated slot sample on the top row here is gonna be digester sample okay so i put everything back into the desiccator here we have to let everything cool down before we wait okay if we wait something when it's still hot this is one hot and then we wait it the temperature of the air above it is going to be expand so you're going to have less air pressure when you have less air pressure 
you can going to get the the weight that is less than usual because the weight that's supposed to of the air that's supposed to press on top of the sample it become less okay this one is step one make sure step one you know which one is your sample which one is first replicate second replicate okay and then you put the filter to all of them only one filter and use tweezer all the time